Even on an overcast day, the view from the Shard is nothing short of spectacular. The capital and 1,000 years of history laid out in one complete panoramic scene. It's the experience that tourists and Londoners will be able to enjoy as of next month, either from the 68th floor or even higher and exposed to the elements. And so here we are on the 72nd floor of London's highest observation deck at 800 feet. And what a view it is, 360 degrees spanning 40 miles across the capital. Up here, even the loos come with a view. And from this height, London's most famous landmarks and transport networks appear strangely diminished. You're looking at neighbourhoods, you're looking at old parts of the city, new parts of the city. Across the river is the Tower of London, that, uh, and then you come forward over a thousand years and you're at the Shard. Towering above London Bridge Station, the Shard's gaze takes in all aspects of the city, including the heart of the financial district, and yet it stands in Southwark, one of the capital's poorest boroughs. It's hoped the attraction will encourage the sort of altitude tourism seen at New York's Empire State Building or the Eiffel Tower in Paris. Looking at other tall buildings around the world, the ones that were great successes, Eiffel Tower, Empire State, why were they their success? Mainly because people could go to the top, they could take their photos and they go back home with a t-shirt. But with adult tickets costing just under £25, those for children not much cheaper at 18 95 some question just how many Londoners will be able to share in the experience. Every ticket we have is what you'd call a fast track ticket because you don't stand in a queue. If you go to other attractions for that privilege of having a fast track ticket, it, it costs you much more. Well, a trip on the London Eye starts at £17, although it is 400 feet lower than the Shard, and for now at least, the price hasn't deterred visitors. The opening day on February the 1st and the next day are already sold out. Lucrezia Millerini, London Tonight.